Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to join a computer to a domain. For this exercise I'm going to use a Windows 7 PC and a window domain controller uh, install with uh, Windows Server 2012 R2 as you can see here. This is a server that I'm going to use. Uh, first I want to show you the uh, computers, the computer list as you can see. Uh, the computer uh, con folder is actually empty because I haven't joined a computer uh, to this domain uh, before. I'm going to sh also show you the uh, domain that I want to join this PC to. The domain will be lab.local. Um, there's a few things uh, that needs to be done in preparation for this exercise. First, you need to, uh, in your uh, Windows 10 PC, all you need to do is click on start and then type my PC, okay, and this window will come up. Then go to the properties of the PC. There's all the ways to get there, but this is for me the uh, fastest and shortest way to get there. As you can see here, the domain right now is work group, and I will need to change it to lab.local. Um, I can do that by changing here, by clicking on change settings, but before I go there, there's one thing that we need to make sure. Uh, first, do you need to make sure that your PC that you want to join to the domain is actually pointing to the DNS server. In my case, my DNS server is this one here, which is pointing to IP address uh, 20, uh, I'm sorry, 192, 168, 0 0.14 so that that will be by DNS address which is the this domain controller which also acting as DNS server okay so that's one of the things that I need to know so I'm going I'm going to navigate to my PC the one the one that I want to join to the network uh, to the domain and then if you click on the Ethernet then uh, change adapter options you will come to this um, you click on properties and I already configure uh, as you can see here you click double click or just click on property and you will see that I already pointed this computer to the domain uh, the domain name server the DNS server which is uh, number 14 as I showed you previously uh, this portion here you do not need to have a static IP I just did it because I'm also doing some other uh, laps and I'm connecting remotely to this computer uh, but you don't need that uh, by you ma selecting obtain an IP address automatically is fine so I'm just gonna click OK click close and that's the end of it so right now I have this PC pointing to the domain server okay so going back to this remember we w we got here through going through my PC uh, just select on property and then change settings you get here and then you're going to network ID sorry uh, you click on change you're gonna, uh, if you wanna change the computer name at that point, you, you do it, it's up to you. But uh, the purpose here is just to join the, uh, the, this computer to the domain. So my domain is la lab.local uh, because it's, uh, it's a local um, uh, domain. Just click OK and I'm gonna be prompted for the, if you see here, enter the name and password of an account with permission to join the domain that will be the administrators in the domain controller so uh, the name is this is uh, the admin uh, the administrator in the domain controller and the password okay wait and I got this error the username or password is incorrect. It means that the credentials that I provided is in, are incorrect. So I'm just gonna try it again. I'm just gonna click and I'm going to tap lab admin, which is the administrator, and then I'm going to type the password. Wait a few seconds and you will get this uh, welcome uh, pop up say welcome to the domain lab local domain click OK uh, it will tell you that it will need to reboot the computer which is fine click OK and then click OK and I'm not gonna reboot now I'm just gonna reboot later 
but I just I'm just want to show you on the domain controller where the application I'm sorry where the uh, PC is actually joined as you can see here in the computer folder computer container there's the PC one there that I just joined to this domain if you like this video uh, please uh, click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel thank you and have yourself a great day